Hi, my name is Ryan. Um, the song that I did my creativity project for is the currently unnamed song, the newest one. Uh, the reason that I did my project the way I did is I'm a very uh, visual listener. Whenever I hear a song, I start creating a story in my head or I start creating a character that the story is based around. When I was listening to your new song, uh, a lot of the lyrics were talking about, I love how you're so confident in yourself. And then uh, a lyric came by talking about little wars, you'll make it through your little wars. And it kind of really struck a chord with me because I'm one of the people that um, always has had, kind of had trouble with fitting in and I always had their little battles that they've had to fight and even though I came out bruised and broken I'm still happy and I think that's a really important thing to highlight. So with my project what I did was I just created a character around it. I created this person that was bruised and broken but still extremely happy with that, what they were doing even a little smug. I'm Kira Chavez. Uh, for a creativity project, I did the new song. Uh, I didn't really go too much off the lyrics either. I mostly went off the feel and the mood from it. And I got a, it's time to move on, have the something good in your life and it's left kind of feel. So I kind of went towards that and also towards addiction. And I just did my photographs off of recovering and realizing that even when you have a dark path in your life, that there's always a better day in the future. Hi, I'm Nick Johnston, and uh, for my portion of the Creativity Project, I decided to use the song uh, Bee is a Bee as my inspiration, and I made a piece that I call Adam and Atom, which was uh, one of the lines from the song that I thought was especially unique and uh, kind of spoke to me. I thought it was uh, interesting being able to use the creative process from the song that um, obviously you guys came up with as members of the band and used that to inspire a completely different creative process which allowed me to kind of play with the words and the meaning in a way that made sense to me. Hi, I'm Christina Kennedy and for mine I did Be as a Bee and for me when I heard this song it really just portrayed the sense of um, solitude and I really like that because I just sometimes being alone is just fun so for my shoot I went to a lake by my house and I was the only person there only car parked in the parking lot and I just walked around and as I was walking around in this really gigantic tree there's a bunch of birds just hanging out so I decided to go and take some pictures of them and I really like the, what I got out of it because it, I think really it just really got what I wanted out of the out of the song and I edited them a lot and I just think that they look pretty cool. Johnson and for my pictures I decided to do the song Be Is A Be. I went more with the idea behind the song and what I got from it is that people overanalyze stuff so much to the point where it no longer makes sense. So in my first photograph I had my model eating oatmeal with a plastic bag and in the second photograph she realizes what she's doing is just weird and it's her reaction that I caught when I made her do that. So it's a real emotion that I try to um, show out of that photo. Now a bee is a bee and a fish is a bird. So my name is Matt.
Corellis and I did a Be Is A Be. Um, my picture kind of captures the mood it has along with a couple of lines of the song. I think it says a bird is the earth and the earth is a tree. So that's what I tried to capture. How successful do you think you were at that? Uh, pretty successful. I mean, it's not a dark song, but the picture is pretty dark. So um, I think it was more of my mood during the song than what they were going for. Hi, I'm Nathan Tunquist, and for the creativity for the creativity project, I kind of went uh, really broad. Um, I started off with an idea from B is a B, and I uh, took the lines, "What is a tree? A tree is the earth." And um, I think at the time uh, we had a human form coming up for the other class, and I really liked that idea. So I took that idea and I mixed it with the song, and so my picture is kind of like a human, and then there's like a tree coming through where her skin would be kind of, if that makes sense. And uh, so that was kind of my, how I got to my idea, which is probably nothing like uh, you would think it would be. Hi, I'm Kyler Duncan, and for a creativity project, I did B is a B. And I focused um, mainly on just shooting wherever I wanted because, like B, B is a B, it's simple and there's beauty everywhere. So I shot at a lake right by my house in the morning and I got the sunrise and I based it mainly off the mood and I think it worked out pretty well. All right, so I'm Drew. Uh, my picture, I based it off of the song Paradigm. It's about someone like leaving for a while. And so my picture is of my truck and it's driving out a dirt road because they're leaving you. So what do you think that you did well about it? Um, well, I like the subject matter. I like the truck out the center. I like the dust flying up behind it. Kind of gives it a sense of motion to it of the driving away. Say, hey. Hi, my name is Ryan Smiley, and I chose Paradigm for my song. Um, I think the reason why I chose it just was because it was just a nice, flowy song. Um, really focused a lot on kind of the mood behind it, um, which is what I tried to capture within my print. Uh, just kind of the essence of the song and the sense of mood rather than uh, the lyrics themselves. And uh, what is that mood? Um, I believe that mood is kind of like a desolate kind of emotion behind it where really it's almost uh, melancholy in a way. Hi, I'm Kaylin Jason for the creativity project. I chose the song Paradigm and I wanted to portray a sense of loneliness and silence and I presented a triptych in class naming each photo a lyric from the song, the paradigm like summertime, you caught that wind and a waste of time I wish I was. And in the shoe I took my friend out and we went to an like abandoned forest <laughs> and just went around shooting and in each photo you can't see her face and I wanted to have like a bit of like lost in each film. But who are you gonna hold when you die? Everybody goes away. And they say And for my inspiration, I did Paradigm. And I chose Paradigm because I really liked the mood of the song and just kind of the soft 
content feeling that it brought. I, in my picture, I wanted to portray a feeling of loneliness, but kind of content with the loneliness. So I did that by taking a picture of a tree just by itself, but having the colors of a nice sunset behind it to kind of portray the sense of being alone, but being okay with that. And you caught that wind. You caught that wind. Hi, my name's Courtney, and I did Paradigm for my song. What I was really trying to capture during it was the fact that it resonated with the fact that everybody does leave and the, uh, so it has like people, it has a girl crying and it has her being like somber and like rethinking everything and I use the values of, uh, of a redhead with the uh, darker values of like dar uh, of the sunset and the shadow cast on the light. of time I wish I was but I talk about it when my head's good on Hi, my name is Shane Stonkis and the song that I chose to do was Paradigm and the song that caught my attention the most was people want to find the place they love where they never fall short or above and when I thought of that I thought of hiking in the mountains and honestly my favorite is when I'm happiest is when I'm alone. So I shot alone up in the mountains and with my pictures I made them darker than they usually are to make them look more low. Hi, I'm Emily Westbrook, and I chose to focus on the song Paradigm, and I didn't really know what to do at first. Um, I was kind of lost, but then I did a project for um, Human Form, and I looked back at my negatives, and I realized that they reflected kind of the story that I wanted to tell, and like I didn't figure out how to tell that till I like saw my videos, so I made prints of those, and I'm really happy with how they turned out. Yeah. <laughs> Describe the mood that you captured. Um, for me, like, I think I captured the mood of, like, still being content with the loss that, like, happened, I guess, with the person that you once loved. Yeah. But who you gonna hold when you die? <laughs> um, <coughs> I, I'm Ashley Hauser. Um, I chose the song Paradigm for my creativity project because I felt like after going through a breakup, it kind of spoke to me the most. Um, what I did was kind of just go out and take nature shots, which I don't normally do, but um, I felt like that was something that helped me kind of get over that. And um, I know Tyler talked about how he would get over things kind of by creating music. So that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. My name is Gracie Lee and I decided to take pictures of the song Paradigm. When we first got assigned the project, the first image in my head was of my middle image, which is a hand over a back. Um, Tyler explains the song is about a relationship and his experience with that, and so I decided to do three images to kind of show the passage of time. And they're all very melancholy, I think, to show that any relationship can be hard. And so then I decided to do like a full body so you can see that like in one picture um, they're not with the person the other is kind of like the person wants them to stay but they decide to go anyway so that was my paradigm picture
a waste of time. I wish I was. But I talk about it when my head's good on. Hi, I'm Cheyenne Heredia, and for the Creativity Project, I did the song A Little Sound. Um, the song just gave me like a really lonely feeling, just kind of a cold feeling. And for my pictures, I had a friend model for me, and I had put candles up around, and I gave the pictures a more blue, cold kind of tone just to capture the lonely feeling I got from the song. And scared, he's not scared of the stage that he's connected to. I'm connected to, and it burns. Um, hi, I'm Sam Kleckner. I did my project based on the song uh, A Little Sound. Um, my piece is titled Odd Man Out because I tried to show um, like a bunch of people in line and one man, he's swallowing a sword. And he's kind of like the, the odd man out. And I really think um, it, was, it was hard for me. Like I tried to Photoshop a uh, sword into the picture. And um, I think I could have done a little better, and I only have one piece, but I think I nailed it as well. I'm connected to I'm Nick Eichner, and for my creativity project, I did a little sound. And oddly, I don't know why, but I found the song to get more and more depressing throughout it. For example, with the lyrics, um, cozy up by the fire, let all the air out. It's like someone's having a good time. But then at the end it says, here's the saddest part, I don't even care. So I try to make a progression of just someone trying to get more and more depressed. Yeah. I, and how did you try that? What, did you, uh, what do your I pictures shot, look like? Uh, it was a set of three portraits of Ryan and he just, the lighting was key, and I got that only right on the second image, I think. I mean, the other two images were decent, but the, uh, the one in the middle was my favorite, personally. Hi, my name is Haley Moore, and I chose this song, A Little Sound. My inspiration behind my picture was um, the lyric, He's Connected To. And I uh, played with the idea of um, very, two very different people coming together in the world and making, just having that connection and being a little sound and making a little difference. Hi, I'm Brooke Gilmore, and the song I did was called A Little Sound. Um, I wasn't trying to portray like an emotion or anything like a lot of the other photographers. There was a specific line in the song that talked about being connected to something, and to me it really, it sounded like a puppet almost, and so in all of my pictures I kind of tried to portray like a puppet and being connected to that, and like the steps of being part of something bigger and then like finally breaking away from life and like just figuring it out. A part, a little sound. Oh, but here's the saddest part. I don't even care. Cozy up. I'm Hannah Blau, and for my creativity project, uh, I decided to do the song Animal. 
Um, I chose to shoot that song because the feeling that I got when I listened to the song um, spoke to me a lot more than all the other songs that we had to choose from. Um, the feeling I got was just free and open and just happy. So for the shoot, I took a few of my best friends and took them to a pretty spot and just took pictures of them messing around, having fun, that sort of thing. I'd say I was pretty successful in the attempt. For your little sister, she is a force of nature. And there is a Nile flowing through a pattern. So Hi, my name is Alyssa Horta, and I chose the song Animal to do for the Creativity Project. Um, I struggled a lot with the things. I had so many ideas for what I wanted to do with this, this project because the lines that really stuck out to me were the first beginning of the line saying that you are alive things still in these different people. It made me really think about like all the people who have gotten to the tough times in my life and how they've really helped and how photography has been that one big thing that's helped me and so instead I ended up doing a picture of a lake in the Colorado landscape and I think that it really captured like the beauty of just saying, I don't know, that you appreciate the little things and that you remember that even if life's going hard that you can still look up and see those mountains in Colorado and just remember how beautiful they are and how lucky you are to still even be here. I'm Jaden Aarons, and um, for this project, I wanted to do something really specific and personal because songs can be interpreted in so many different ways by different people. So, what I did is I focused on the song Animal. And after spending a lot of time with the lyrics and getting to know it really well, I decided that the lyric, we came with a set of parentheses, means that people expect one person from you, and there's nothing you can do about that, which is where the lyric There's a World That Makes It So You Never Happen comes in. So, I kind of wanted to contradict that by making very strong single image that conveys multiple very accurate and genuine um, personas. You can't 